Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Welcome back to Kirby's Adventure. Uh, we are in World 3, Butter Building. Um, of course, all the names of the world uh, in this game have got food type names. Um, <clears throat> like I said before, I, I know that some of these levels can, or these worlds can get kind of long, and I hope not to get too far over 15 minutes per video as we go along, but you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, this is the stone power-up. I don't particularly care for it. Um, I mean, all it does is that. I mean, you can probably drop on your enemy's head if you do it just right, but... And it kind of makes you in invulnerable, too, which is great, but as soon as I come out of this, I'm going to get hit. No? Well, yes. <coughs> so, whatever. Um, this is, a. Uh, I believe his name is Clockwork again. You know, inhale the notes, shoot him back at him. It's, we're going to end up with the mic power again. Uh, I just came from um, the coffee shop, and uh, there, well, there's two things. The, the first thing is is that I, I, I've noticed that uh, when I first get up in the morning, however long it is before I actually you know speak for the first time of the day, that when I finally do it, it I, I, I kind of stutter and stammer, and it just feels weird. Um, here's the first switch. Um, like I said, uh, I'm probably not going to do all of them. I don't know, but here is one if you go this way. Um, what the switches do is they open up um, little bonus areas back out in the main world, like this one uh, opened up uh, an arena. Um, they open up arenas, museums, um, bonus games like the Egg Catcher and the Wild West one, uh, as well as um, uh, Warp Zones, which I won't be using, so will I be getting all the switches in the game? I don't know. You know we'll see what happens, but as for the arena, uh, we get to fight the giant tire. Um, I find that a lot of the power-ups Sometimes they don't work very well um, against um, the bosses. Um, your best, the best way of attacking them is to, uh, you know, is to use their own, you know, shoot back their own items at them. Like if I were to inhale the tires now and shoot them back at them, <coughs> that seems to work better. Here I'm firing lasers at them, and, it, and it, uh, it's not going so well. Um, but anyway, um, like I was saying, I, I find that the first time that I speak um, in, in a day. It feels strange coming out of my mouth, and sometimes I, I stutter or stammer, and um, so there's actually times where, you know, when I do get up after, you know, if it's, if it's going to be a while before, especially on my day off like this, if it's going to be a while before I'm going to be around anyone, before I'm even going to speak, I'll actually just try and say something, you know, to myself, just to, just to do it, because I didn't do that today. My point in all this is that I, I went to the coffee shop, and you know, some people that work there, and tried to make small talk with me, and it was the first time that I had spoken um, today, and so I, I kind of stammered a bit, and then I got all awkward, and you know, because if I feel like I'm making a fool of myself or drawing attention to myself, I get really uncomfortable, and it's just this vicious cycle. I don't know. So that's what was going on just now, kind of me feeling awkward, like I always do. You know, I could say that in pretty much every video, because uh, that's something that never changes. But um, there's sometimes, like, in a situation like that, where there's something that I could do about it, like I said, I could, before I even step out my door, I could, you know, speak to myself just to get get my voice going. That sounds so stupid, I know, but... <clears throat> and yet I don't do it, I forget to do it, and then something like this happens. Um, but anyway, uh, I, it's a place that I frequent a lot, and so they kind of, you know, just in talking a little bit here and there, that they, they kind of know, like, what line of work I'm in. And and, and <clears throat> when that comes up, I don't even, I'm actually kind of baffled as to how they know, because, you know, like I've said before, I don't really speak to people. I don't, I don't engage in, in conversation with people. So, yeah, I've been to this place a lot, but... You know, I don't recall ever telling them what line of work I'm in, you know? But anyway, so they knew, and so they were talking about that, and it came up about, um, 
you know, going to school and whatnot, and I've been taking online classes and trying to get my veterinary technician license, and it's taking forever. I've been going for like <coughs> three years total. I'm only halfway done, and I've kind of, uh, not to like throw all that money away and all that time away, but I'm kind of done. Um, obviously right now, uh, like I've said, I've taken a pay cut when I switched jobs. Um, I really can't afford to go anymore, but more importantly, I just, I just don't care anymore. I, I, I'm, maybe it's just a phase I'm going through. Oh, jeez, I'm about to, I'm about to die here. This could be my first death right here. Yep. I saw that one coming a mile away. You know, at least you start back right where you left off in this game. Um, yeah, maybe it's just a phase I'm going through. Maybe it's just, <clears throat> I don't know. If you hit these bombs just right and drop and then use your in inflate ability, you can grab... Oh, I was too slow there. So I got the one up at least. You know, that, that makes up for the life I just lost, you know. Oh, jeez, I didn't mean... Yeah, this guy will actually, like, beat the hell out of you. He'll pick you up and, like, body slam you. And he'll throw out all the little insects once in a while that you can shoot back at him. I think he he he, he attacks twice. So there was once. Come on, do it. Or or not? I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, but as far as school goes, for right now, I mean, there's two things I could do. I could either just give up completely and just say screw it and. For now, anyway, and that's saying never go back. I can go back at any point. But I'm just getting too damn old, you know, to be worried about stuff like that. Maybe 5,000 points. Um, or, I'm literally three general education classes away from having my veterinary assistant certificate, which I've been a veterinary assistant for <laughs> my entire life. I mean, pretty much. As, you know, my entire working life with the exception of like maybe five or six years. Um, I, I guess it's something. I guess it's, you know, just so it, if I had some kind of certificate in my hand, I would feel like it wasn't a complete waste, I wasn't a complete failure. But, oh, I didn't mean to get up here. Because I got that stupid high jump ability. Yeah, some, some of the, the, the power-ups in this game are pretty pointless, to me anyway. Uh, you know, the high jump came in handy for that one level where you had to jump up through all the blocks, but other than that... And I guess I can think of another point where it will come in handy as well. These doors all lead to different places within the screen. Um, uh, there's certain ones you can take where you'll get like a maximum tomato. I think there's even a one-up in here somewhere. There's the tomato. I'm not seeing the one-up anywhere. I'm probably just gonna... I don't know, Walt might... no. Hmm. Oh, gotta break through these. <clears throat> Come on, Kirby. Get... there you go. There's the end level, and... Whoop. And 5,000 points. Uh, what are we up to here in 9 minutes? Oh, that's going to go over real well. Oscar just, like, got on top of my computer. That's going to be a mess. <laughs> oh, jeez, Oscar. Thanks a lot, buddy. I think that's... I'm going to have to watch this back. That's going to be a mess. Man, there's one thing about Oscar that... I mean, he, he's my best friend. I... I He's my cat, in case anybody doesn't know. I, you know, I love him to death, but... If I'm ever on the computer, he insists on trying to get on top of the keyboard on the mouse, and... You know, he's just hitting all kinds of keys and buttons, and... It's, if there's anything that he does that will really irritate me, that's it. You know, I'm trying to focus on the game. I can't be watching him, what he's doing. He's over on the computer, laying on top of the mouse, and he just, like, paused my recorder. Uh, so yeah, if there's some weird 
gap in the audio or something, or a gap in the video, I think, is what's going to happen. Um, I apologize. Um, this is another bonus game, uh, Quick Child. I don't think you've seen this one yet before. I think this is the first time. Um, you just got to have good reflexes. As soon as your opponent draws, you have to draw, and uh, hopefully you can you know, knock him out or shoot him out before uh, he can do the same to you. Um, they get more difficult uh, as you go. Or th their reflexes get faster than yours as you go. And I believe that there's five of them. Yeah, one more, and uh, so I've already got a one up. It works the same. The rewards work the same uh, as the other mini games. You get points if you don't do as well, well like that. But I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get a one up. I'm actually curious to watch this video back and see how badly Oscar just messed it up. <laughs> I don't know, or not. You know. Oh, invincibility, here we go. You know, if he didn't mess it up, then, you know, Oscar, I apologize. And then we'll see how it turns out. Because I would hate to have to start this game all over again just to get this part recorded again. It's going to throw off the continuity. Okay, well, I'm worrying about it before I even know what's going on. Let me just, you know, finish this segment, and, and we'll see what's see what's going on with the video. Uh, this dude, um, obviously you're going to get his hammer as a power when you defeat him. He's kind of like a football player, kind of. He throws, well, I guess those are kind of like fruit, too, because those look exactly like the coconut things that are that fall off of the trees like they did uh, in one of the earlier levels. You know, I used to think that they were footballs, but I guess since they're identical to the fruit or the coconut things, so I don't know. Uh, of course he's got to have one bar left. You know, the stars that come out when he slams his hammer, you can inhale those as well. Those are trickier though to, to get though, because I'm usually up in the air when he does that. Uh, and obviously you can kind of see what you got to do here. Um, that uh, that little spot up here you can hit with the hammer to get the maximum tomato as well as the one up. And that's it for this level. Yeah, 5,000 points. Got 17 lives. I guess I should be going for points right now. Oh, where are we at? Can we can we do this world in 15 minutes? I don't know. Um, well, is there a reason to get the laser? I don't think so. You know, I... Mm, ouch. Shoot. Well, you know, there's anything I should learn from this game is that they lose you when they present you with a power up. Ow. When they present you with a power up, there's a reason for it. I guess I would probably have... Oh, no, 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 Yeah, those are... Jeez. Obnoxious enemies. I mean, you, they don't even have to, like, be touching you when they blow up or whatever to do damage to you. Uh, tomato, I don't need it. Just trying to get through here. There we go. Um, it is possible to, uh... You know, like earlier, if you have the tire power up and you're rolling across this tower, it is possible to, like, to go right off the edge, so be careful with that. Uh, the second switch is right up here. Um, if you get rid of these blocks, it reveals a door. Um, you got to be quick about this. Make sure that you get around this platform that appears, otherwise it's going to block you from getting to this door which has the switch. And it opens up uh, Egg Catcher Game. Yeah, this video is obviously, we're almost at 15 minutes right now, we're gonna go over. Uh, I just don't want to cut it. Uh, it's, it is what it is. Like I said, after Oscar just climbed all over my computer, I'm probably gonna have to redo this all anyway, I hope not. 
see how it turns out. I know I've said that like three times now. I'm gonna have to like, when I'm recording, I'm gonna have to like cover up the computer or something, or the, at least the keyboard and the mouse, keep it somehow that he can't keep getting on it. I mean, granted, it's the first time he's done it when I've been recording, but yeah, five times. I'm really stuck on those five thousands, which is fine with me. But uh, egg catcher game. Yeah, we'll go for it. Um, what did I miss last time? Two. Let's see how we do this time. Oh, geez, not good at all. Apparently, like thousand points. Anyway, so that should just leave, yes, all that leaves is the boss, which, um, not that easy, it's um, kind of like the sun and the moon, you know, one will be up in the sky, kind of attacking you from above, the other one will be on the ground, they switch once in a while. You can, uh, just inhale, you know, the stars, shoot them back at them, or you can swallow them in order to, uh, to get a power up. It's just tricky to get the stars sometimes. No, oh, this isn't going too well. No, oh, no, it's really not, is it? Hmm. Sorry for being quiet. I'm just, I'm just concentrating. That's all. Let me try using the cutter. No, oh, jeez. Ugh. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm. I'm. I'm going down. Yep. Yeah, right there. <laughs> All right. Um. Like this video wasn't long enough as it is. You know. Jeez. Okay. Let's try that again. Yeah, the other thing about long videos like this too is I, I, I can't keep talking. I, I find that I can, you know, doing 10 to sometimes 15 minute videos, I, I can keep talking that long. Anything longer than that, can't do it. At least I got the firepower now, this should take them out a little bit faster. Oh, that wasn't good. I want my firepower back. Thank you. You do have to take both of them out. They each kind of have their own little uh, energy bar. Kind of, I think. I wasn't really paying attention. Anyway, there's the third part of the star rod. Um, what, I got four more to go? Anyway, that's it for this episode. We're moving on to level four, Grape Garden. Uh, everyone, take it easy. Have a good day. Peace. I'll see you next time for more of Kirby's Adventure.